Hey guys, this is Apple Warehouse here. I'm just telling you how to use Candy Bar for your dock. Alright, as you can look at, as you might be able to see my dock right now, just try to zoom in a little bit, you'll be able to see it's made of wood and the little blue dots that are usually under an application when it's open are turned into little b holes. This is really good for customizing your Mac. First, you do need Candy Bar application, which is just, this is the logo right here, Candy Bar. And you can go to a website such as Leopard Docs and download all these docs. I'll have some links in the description and I'll have links of the ones that I'm using right now as well. Or maybe just the names. All right, first, when you open your Candy Bar, this is what it'll look like. Just, I'll quit it now. Just go Candy Bar. This is what it looks like. As you can see right here, it says change application icons, then change dock appearance. Click on that, and it's got your dock here. Now, go into the dock you want to choose. Right now, I'll go on Noir Porpe, whatever the hell that is. And here, it's the main color. This is the main background, which is the black. So, there. And then this is black front. That's like a little line. This goes over here. Now, it says the indicator. The indicator, I'll just go indicator large. This my is quite large. You just drag it in all the holes. And I'll press apply doc. Uh, put in my password. Don't worry about that. Just press relaunch your dock. And as you can see right now, it's black and it's got these little blue lights, blue lights underneath. Now, another quicker way of doing this is if your dock pack has this thing, this candy bar little box, you double click on that. And you can press, you just click on it. And you can usually apply it from there. I'll just get rid of it. Most docks don't really have that though. All right, let's give it. Let's go through another demonstration. But first, let's restore our dock. I don't like these docks. This dock. So I'm just gonna restore it back to its factory settings. None of this is permanent, so don't worry about it. As you can see right now, my normal dock. Now let's go to the dock that I was using before. Was Tron dock. This one has a few more things to it. This. Scurve, the thing that says scurve, is what your main background is. I want my main background to be like that since I am using, I have a lot, the largest possible dock, as you can, largest possible dock. And yeah, so it's easy for this presentation to see. It's XL, which stands for extra large. If you have like a medium sized dock, you put in the medium one or, and so forth, so forth. Alright, now this is front line, is that little edge again that I was telling you about. Just drag that there, and indicator. The indicator inside it's quite it's large again. Just drag it back on. Not very hard. Do it to both. This time we have another thing. As you might be able to see here, it says separator. Just make this bigger. Separator. Just dragging it around. This is the thing which is right here. It changes the look of that. So I'll. Drag the separator onto both of them. It's kind of changed around a little bit. And I'll exit this so when it relaunches, I can see it well. Relaunch dock. And as you can see right now, they've got these really cool rings around the bottom of them. Which is, that's what I like to have. As, because most of the other docks, they don't really change the dots underneath it. But since, if you, as you can see right now, my application icons look like they're made from wood, I'll like my dock to be made from wood. So I'll just go through that, do that one more time, so you can just see if you've had any doubts. All right, I open this folder, and here I just see the dock. Just double click that, dock made of wood. Just align all these up. Not very hard. I will have 
just copy. It's just dragon copy. I will soon be uploading a video about using candy bar for your icons. And there you go. It's back to what I started with. I'll soon be making a video about using candy bar for your icons. As like as you can see my kind of like my my hard drive, it's got this wooden icon. And all of this is re reversible. You just press your restore dock button. And if you do have Lion, you can go into full screen mode, make it a little bit easier. Since I was dragging things onto it, I didn't really want to do that. But that is all for the presentation. If you liked it, please press the like button. Or leave a comment below telling us how you, how you felt about the video. If there is anything you would like to see, or any tutorials you would want for Mac, or even any, any games, how you would want to be able to get for Mac, I'll probably be able to release one as soon as possible after your request. So... This is App Warehouse. Peace out.